get an interesting uh, perspective here, being a medical student, observing the medical system in Lima. How is the medical system handling these high cases? Well, it's difficult. I mean, there are social and economic issues that existed before the pandemic. The amount of informality that's in our economy is around 70%, which means a lot of people have to live the day to day. So while the government tries to keep everyone in their houses, uh, a lot of people can't afford to stay in their houses because they have to eat. <laughs> and um, a lot of people also don't have refrigerators or only around 20% of our population has refrigerators, so they can't stock up either. So while the government tries to keep these strict measures enforced, it's difficult for a large part, part of the population to actually follow them. And then with respect to the medical system, I mean, it, it's difficult because right now we're at a point where both public and private systems are, are almost collapsed. There are very few amount of uh, hospital beds available and a smaller amount of ICU beds available. So the situation is quite critical.